Hello again, and in this final video, I'm going to be talking about neuronal cell differentiation and how neuron cells come to be from their precursors. So to uh, start off, we have something called an SOP, and what an SOP is, is a sensory organ precursor. Now these SOPs have a certain amount of a protein called NUM, and what happens with NUM is, is during mitotic division, NUM specifically goes into one daughter cell, whereas the other daughter cell does not receive any NUM at all. Now, once this daughter cell that has NUM is uh, mitotically divided even further, um, again, one set, one daughter cell of this um, next generation will receive more NUM than the other daughter cell. The one that receives more NUM will eventually become the neuron, whereas the one receiving less NUM in the second mitotic division will become the sheath. So now to understand what NUM actually does. So the cell that receives more NUM will have less of a protein called NOTCH, as NUM, what NUM does is NUM inhibits NOTCH. Now, if there is less NOTCH in this certain cell, that means there's going to be a greater amount of another protein called delta. So now to look at comparing two cells, one with more NOTCH and one with less NOTCH. So the one with more NOTCH, therefore the one with less NUM, the one with more NOTCH will have a NOTCH on its um, uh, membrane. Now, what uh, a cell with more delta will do is this cell with delta will cleave the notch off and therefore the inner part of the notch from the membrane will go into the nucleus of the cell. And what this will do is increase the regulation of notch in that cell. When there's an increased regulation of notch in that cell, that will lead to a down regulation of the amount of delta in that cell. So that will kind of amplify the amount of um, difference between notch and delta in that cell. So over time, what we see is that there is going to be an increase of delta for the cells that have um, more, not, more numb and a decrease the amount of notch for the cells that have more numb. And this kind of acts as a feedback loop for um, cells that are right next to each other that have originally that difference between um, more, more numb or less numb, where we see that the cells that have more numb will have more delta and less notch, and that more delta will lead to the cells that have less numb to uh, downregulate the amount of delta in the cell right next to it by increasing the amount of notch by cleaving that um, notch off of the membrane and therefore increasing that um, cell expression with, of notch within that cell. And again, over time, this difference will continue to amplify until we see that there's a much greater difference of delta and notch in two cells. And with that greater difference of delta, having an increase in the amount of delta in that cell, this will lead to the differentiation of the neuron. So overall, this explains how um, from that original sensory organ precursor, we can develop uh, multiplicities of uh, neurons and sheath cells. Thank you.